Everyone, good afternoon, Fresno. We are super excited to be here. All of our Golden Boy team is excited to uh, to welcome back your favorite son, uh, Jose Ramirez, back to the Safe Mart Center, and also introduce uh, Knockout King artist uh, Virgil Ortiz Jr. He uh, has a record of 20 and 0 with 20 knockouts, and we're very excited to to showcase his card um, here in Fresno. Um, I want to first start by introducing a man who I think made this happen. Uh, you know, obviously, before we get to the fighters, I want to introduce the manager of both Jose and, and Virgil. Um, he's helping to organize this whole event. Um, I've known him for many years, and uh, that is Rick Marigid. Rick. You know, it's funny how life comes full circle. Jose and I would go down to Golden Boy when Jose was an amateur, approaching the Olympics in London, and we almost signed with Oscar. I mean, it came right down to the wire. Uh, Oscar was Jose's favorite fighter, as well as mine, um, you know, watching fights, getting together with family over the years. And we always wondered what it would be like if we would have signed with Golden Boy. And, uh, I said, life's funny, and, and here we are. Uh, Jose made a tremendous deal with Oscar uh, to be welcomed into Golden Boy, and, and this was one of those conditions that Jose wanted, and that was to bring Oscar to the Valley in a massive fight, and I've done a lot of fights here in the Valley, as you all know. This is the biggest fight card that we've ever had. And Virgil Ortiz going on to the card at 20 and 0 with 20 knockouts, considered at his young age to be the future of the sport of boxing. Uh, we can't announce the undercard yet, but there's a very special lady that you're gonna hear some news about who's actually here today. Can't tell you much about it, but she's a jujitsu champion, wrestling champion, karate champion, state and national champion. She's a USA boxing multi-time national champion and ranked number one. She just turned 18 years old out of Visalia. She's already been touted to be better than Holly Holm and Ronda Rousey in MMA, and unparalleled in boxing, doesn't even have anyone to really be compared to at this point. She's in her own league. So, some special news. Jenna, just stand up and wave. We can't talk about you right now, but next week, we'll find out. And it, for me, it was very special to see, and Oscar's gonna talk about what he did today. And we all know where we live. You know, this part of California is not Hollywood, it's not tall buildings, it's ag land. And Jose and Oscar and Virgil had quite the trip today. And I can't wait till Oscar tells you about it and Jose, but this is a special event for us. One that I think uh, will set the bar as far as fights go, you know, moving forward. So Oscar, thank you for taking the time to come. We know how your schedule is. He's got three big pay-per-views that you guys are all aware of right now going, but this was a big priority for him uh, with Jose to make sure he came to the Valley, that we got this fight done and, and move forward. So Oscar, thank you for that. It's been an honor to have you here. Everybody's been happy that has seen you and spoke to you, and I uh, look forward to you telling everybody about your trip today. Thank you very much. I'm supposed to read off a script, but it's I'm really terrible at that. Um, you know, today I had the opportunity to uh, to connect with um, with a few farm workers. That I mean, it was such an experience. Um, you 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 know, you get to know the people. You um, you really appreciate exactly what they do and where our food comes from, where the fruits come from. Um, the whole process was just was just incredible. It was amazing. I was uh, I was really um, moved moved by by all the hard work that's that's put into making sure that the world is fed, basically, and it starts here. And um, you know, we we literally are, are are blessed, you know, to to be here to be able to stage. Such a wonderful, wonderful event for everyone um, that loves boxing, that 
loves your very own, like uh, like Ramirez and Virgil Ortiz and uh, and all the fighters that will be on the card. It, it'll be special because all those people that are working out in the fields, or most of them, will be inside this arena, um, cheering cheering on for their for their favorite fighters. And to me, to be able to stage such a huge event on a global scale um, springs a lot of honor. A lot of honor to, uh, to what I started 22, 22 years ago, I believe it was, when I started Golden Boy Promotions. And these are the reasons why we, we are here, because of Jose Ramirez, because of Verge Ortiz. We want to build that next generation of world champions. We want to make sure that we, we pave the way or open up the doors and give them the opportunities. So being here in Fresno is, is just, it's, it, it literally is a, um, a, a very, very special treat because we know how important this event can, uh, can be to, um, to the next generation, to the generation who's hardworking in the fields, to, to everyone involved. Um, you know, thank you very much for making this happen and thank you, Rick. And I do want to bring up a special person. Uh, he is the president of the uh, Nasei Farmers League, uh, Manuel uh, Cunha, who has uh, been doing an incredible, incredible job today, explaining every single detail. And uh, literally, I have this, um, just, I, I feel pride being here and being invited and, and getting to know people. So I can't wait to be here. Uh, during fight week, and uh, and just uh, experience this whole experience, this amazing community. So thank you very much, Manuel. And real quick, guys, we made arrangements with Golden Boy to leave 3,000 ticket vouchers for the farm workers in Central California to attend this fight. Um, and that was something that was very important to Jose to do um, and to get done and, and also to approve that. And uh, I think it'll be a, a special night, all things considered. I'll make this real quick. Everybody knows that I only speak for about a second or two minutes. Uh, but uh, again, I want to thank Oscar and the entire team. Also, Lewis, raise your hand. This is, um, this is second Jose right here. So this one belongs. Uh, but I want to thank Lewis very much for all the work with, with your team. It's been tremendous uh, working and being a part of uh, Jose. Um, today's trip was incredible. Uh, the workers to see Oscar in the field with a picking bag on for citrus with clippers. Jose climbing a ladder with clippers. Mr. Ortiz climbing the ladder. Oscar saying, don't fall off the ladder. <laughs> so you can imagine how this young man was on pins and needles when I'm having him climb ladders and doing all these things. And I never thought about, God, if they fall off the ladder, what happens? Oh my gosh, oh, we got a wreck. But uh, again, it's been tremendous working with uh, Golden Boy, with Oscar, tremendous. Uh, I think to see the, the people in the fields were incredible. The packing house people were incredible. Uh, Jan, thank you so much for all the work you guys have done with us and working with us, your entire team. Um, it's been great. Uh, the same Mark, uh, where's Mitzi? Where's Mitzi at? Uh, anyway, Mitzi, thank you for all the work of putting this together today with your entire team and the police department and the sheriff's department has been great. So again, we thank in agriculture our farmers. As you notice the sign over here to my right, it says our farmers and farm workers feeding the world. And that's what Oscar seen today. When they picked that fruit, they went to the packing house and they saw the fruit coming out at the end in a bag. And it's tremendous because that's exactly what happens. Our farm workers and the growers, farmers, they feed the world. They do literally feed the world in all types of commodities. So again, thank you very much, Oscar. And Jose. Thank you, thank you, Manuel. Appreciate it very much. And um, like I was saying before, 
We, uh, we have a special treat uh, for you guys on the 27th of April. Um, I, I made sure that um, we make it worth your while. Um, I know that you've had um, Jose fight here several times, and um, obviously he's, uh, he's your son. He's, he's the fighter who represents uh, this great city and uh, with a great pride. And, but now I understand exactly what he has been preaching all these years, you know, uh, just being here, uh, being here in his city is just, uh, is just incredible. And again, I'm going to emphasize on the, uh, on the farm workers, uh, what great pride, what great pride they take. And, um, and the farm owners also, it was incredible how, I mean, we went to medical facilities, they explained to me how, how they really take care of their own which is special because you know, not everybody does that. And obviously, you know, when you have happy, happy workers, happy people, you, uh, you, you get to, uh, you know, you, you produce more, you, um, you know, you work like a machine. And that's exactly what it is. It's a machine that really, really cares. And that's what really touched me. So, um, you know, I really thank you for, for showing me those fields and, and being out there. Um, so in the COVID event, we want to. Uh, we wanted to really highlight this special event uh, with a big bang, and literally, it doesn't get any bigger than this. I mean, Virgil Ortiz, like I said, he's uh, he's got a hundred percent knockout ratio, which is which is unheard of at the highest level. You know, twenty fights, twenty and zero. He's uh, he's knocking on the door for a world title. He's been on the big stage before as the as the main event, and uh, you know when we asked him when we asked him to uh, to highlight this event uh, with uh, with Jose, I mean in a heartbeat he said yes. You know he's a fighter who uh, who wants to stay busy, who wants to stay active, who wants to you know highlight his his abilities inside that ring. And I'm telling you when he comes out and fights. There's, there's nobody that can stop him, literally. He's, uh, like I said, knocking on the door for world title. He's, uh, his, his career is, is on the verge of breaking through, not only to become world champion, but to become a star, to become, to become one, of those, one of those legends you know, that we have in our sport. So it is, uh, it is my pleasure to introduce a fighter who, he's never backed down from any, uh, from any any challenge, he wanted to fight for the world title on the 27th. Unfortunately, there were there was nobody available. Um, but he's looking always to fight against the very best. Uh, I would love to introduce to you with a record of 20 and 0, 20 knockouts. Wow. Virgil Ortiz Jr. Virgil. Everybody. Um, first of all, I want to thank Golden Boy. I want to thank my dad, my team, uh, you know, my grandma, everyone, just uh, for, for supporting me this whole time. Uh, I'm I'm so happy to be fighting in Fresno. I, I spent like a month here doing like active recovery and stuff, and uh, I grew to love this city. I, it's the only city in California I would move to. Uh, I love this city. Um, I'm drinking some cup of joy right now. This was not sponsored. <laughs> I'm just saying. Y'all know, yeah, know, yeah, know what's up. But, um, and it's a hallelujah, if y'all are wondering. But it's really good. But yeah, anyway, so I'm, I'm very excited to be fighting. Uh, we want to stay active this year. I'm hoping for a world title next fight. Um, you know, it's a pleasure being on Jose's undercard. Uh, Jose has been my favorite fighter since uh, 2012, since I've seen him in, uh, in the 2012 Olympics. And uh, I remember the first time I sparred him. I didn't know I was sparring him. I was blind at the time. I, <laughs> I, I needed contacts to see. And uh, you know, they, they told me, hey, how, so how was this sparring Jose? I thought they said Josecito. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I mean, yeah, he was a pretty tough fighter. And, and they're like, no, Jose Ramirez. I'm like, what the fuck? I just sparred Jose Ramirez? You know, like, that was crazy to me. And, uh, you know, it was really cool. I didn't know it was him, even though he was right in front of me. But uh, no, it's a, it's a, it's an honor being on your undercard, man. And uh, you know, come April twenty seventh, 
you know, we're going to put on a great show. And uh, I only want to fight the best. So uh, you'll be seeing more of me this year, hopefully world champion. Thank you. Thank you very much, Virgil. And again, I, I really can't, I really can't emphasize on um, more on how excited we are to put on a, a great card from top to bottom. You know, I think that's what it's all about. You know, showcasing, showcasing young talent, showcasing local talent as well, um, showcasing future world champions, and then obviously, um, you know, it's been it's been a special treat for me. Uh, to, to watch a fighter on TV and, and watching him grow up and, you know, with a different promoter, but it's okay. <laughs> um, but they've done a wonderful job with his career. He's done an amazing job inside the ring. And, um, you know, he's one of those fighters, one of those few fighters where, where you really appreciate what they do outside the ring. Um, I didn't really understand how passionate he was you know, for the farm workers and for his community, and so until I got here today, it's uh, it's real, it's special. I mean, if if everyone were to do it, you know, it's it means a lot. And um, now now I understand why why Jose fights so hard for his people. You know, it's it's um, it, it really is a special treat to see it up close and personal. You know, I mean, I walking down the, the farms and, um, you know, people saying hi to him and thank you. And so it's, it's, it's touching. It's, uh, it's, it's, he's a, he's a person, a fighter who has, who has a big heart and who really feels it, you know, he really feels that he has to, and he wants to help his people. So I commend you for that, Jose. I really do. Um, yeah, he's, he's, has an amazing record. 28 and 1, 18 knockouts. You know, he wanted to fight for a world title in front of you guys. But again, they were not available. Um, like Barroso, who was, a, who was a beast. He wanted to fight him on the 27th. He wasn't available. Sander Martin, who, uh, another fighter who is a tough, tough guy. Uh, number one in the world, WBC. But we found somebody who's going to put up uh, an amazing, amazing test for, for Jose. Uh, because he wanted this tough fight. He's fighting uh, uh, Rancis uh, Bartholomew, who's what, 30, and, 30 and 2 with 15 knockouts. I mean, ranked top five in the world. But that's what Jose is all about, you know, is giving you guys a great show, giving you guys, um, you know, giving you guys that, that, that energy that he feels inside the ring, you know, and he loves to project it out the ring, you know, so. Um, it is my pleasure, seriously. Um, he's fighting in a 12 round, 12 round fight. It is my pleasure to introduce to you, with a record of 28 and 1, 18 knockouts, your champion, Jose Ramirez. Woo! Well, thank you. Uh, first and foremost, you know, I want to thank God. I want to thank Golden Boy, my team, uh, my sponsors, uh, the farmers. Uh, my good friend Russell Harris for bringing us over here and making it happen. Uh, you know, it's it's always an honor for me to fight here in the central, in the central part of California. When I say Fresno, I mean central part of California because, as you know, you know we're all one. You know, the small communities, hardworking people out there make Fresno strong. You know, and we all work together, like Oscar said, like a machine. You know, we all move together, we all work together, and we feed, like many people said, we feed the world. So I was. I was happy that Oscar, that Virgil Ortiz, and Golden Boy, and many people that are going to be watching uh, get to see that, get to see what the Central Valley is all about. So, uh, you know, I'm happy to, you know, to, to be now with, with Golden Boy. Uh, I can see the energy that Golden Boy has, that Oscar has, his company has, uh, to promote uh, us fighters, you know, who want to, we want to be not just the best, but we, we really want to become stars. We, really, we want to lead something, a big legacy in the sport of boxing. And, and uh, I think that's my second, you know, the second part of my career. This is the second chapter of my career, and I believe it will be the biggest and the best chapter of my career. Uh, just because, uh, you know, we're living in times where right now boxing, it's, it's hot. You know, there's a lot of, especially in my division, there's a lot of great fighters that I would, that I would love to face, you know. And, and they have the popularity, you know, to take, take me to the next level. Not, not as, you know, skills-wise, but just 
you know, again, to become that superstar. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to becoming a three-time world champion. And, uh, you know, April 27 will be the start, the next step, you know, to, to accomplishing that. But I do want to become the best at 140 and, and multi-division world champion. And it all starts April 27. Again, you know, I want to thank, you know, Golden Boy. I want to thank my team, the Save Mar Center, my sponsors, the farmers, the farm workers, you know, my family, my wife, uh, all the support, you know. And uh, April 27, we're going to put on a new show. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Just, just to um, remind you that, yeah, the, this card for us at Golden Boy is is really, really special, and um, I, I did want to highlight the young talent. Um, you know, Jenna making your pro debut, amazing! Congratulations! Uh, but that's what it's all about, right? I mean, at Golden Boy, we I like promoting my fighters the way I fought. You know, I want them to go out there and just fight hard for you guys. You know, and that's what they do. That's what Virgil is. I mean. This record speaks for itself, and now promoting Jose Ramirez is, is, is literally a dream come true for me because meeting him many years ago with his father, with his family, um, you know, it's, it's fighters like Jose that you dream of to promote because they're good kids outside the ring because, you know, they're, they're all business when it comes to uh, stepping inside the ring. So uh, it really is a pleasure to be uh, promoting one of your very own um, but also, I want to also make sure you know that the, the, the platform, The Zone, which has millions and millions of subscribers on a global scale, uh, we're going to make sure that we highlight not only the farm workers, but we highlight the city. We highlight, you know, everyone who makes this city work, right? And we want to make sure that the world knows that, uh, that this fight is taking place here in Fresno. Um, you know, where you have really, really nice people. So I commend you. Thank you very much for having us out here. We really appreciate you. And uh, the 27th, I mean, we're going to we're gonna bring the house down, and that's for sure. Virgil Ortiz, uh, Jose, the whole Golden Boy machine, we're going to make sure that we, uh, we give you guys a, a great, great show. Um, nada, primeramente, gracias a, a todos. Eh, por, uh, por asistir a esta conferencia de prensa estamos muy contentos, felices de estar aquí es, una, es un honor es un placer eh, finalmente estar aquí en Fresno promoviendo una pelea con, con José Ramírez uh, gracias a, a Virgil Ortiz por estar en la cartelera eh, Virgil Ortiz ya está listo y preparado para pelear por un campeonato mundial así que eh, gracias por honrarnos por tu presencia. Um, el 27 sí va a ser una pelea bastante importante para ustedes, para José, para Virgil, eh, para Jenna, que, que también va a ser su, su debut uh, en la cartelera. Así que nomás les quiero decir que gracias, gracias a, a, al pueblo de Fresno, a las ciudades, eh, gracias por todo el apoyo y nos vemos el 27. We'll now pose the fighters uh, for pictures. Thank you very much. Gracias. And everybody, real quick, another local young talent that's been developing, and Oscar's kept his eye on him. He met Oscar in January in Las Vegas in Virgil's fight. Jordan Fuentes is from Fresno, won the Olympic trials in December, going 5 0. He then, after that, went to his next qualifying tournament and ran through that competition 5 0. That's unprecedented. The last person to do that, Jose Ramirez, winning the Olympic trials in 2011. So, very special young man in the back. Office.